Hello, welcome to another episode of Snail Mail with Smokey. I'm Smokey. As always, I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. I uh, hear where I'm at in Wisconsin. It is a wonderful day. Uh, the sun is out. It is shining bright. It's going to be about 80 degrees today. It has been a remarkable week uh, weather-wise. Uh, after so long in the deep freeze, we actually hit our first 50 degree day, our first 60 degree day, our first 70 degree day, and our first 80 degree day of the year all within the span of five or six days. Uh, so the weather has been wonderful. Uh, the snow is melted, the grass is turning green. Unfortunately, this warm weather is going to uh, be done with for a while after today. Temperatures are gonna be more in the 40s and 50s this next week. We're gonna see a little bit of light snow and some rain, uh, but spring is here and I'm very excited about it. It's been a really long, uh, wet winter, so I'm very happy that spring is here. What I would like to do today is I'd like to talk to you uh, about another micro country of Europe uh, whose stamps I collect. Uh, if you remember a while back, I did a video about Andorra. Uh, I collect the uh, stamps from Andorra, more specifically French Andorra. Uh, and today I'd like to talk to you about the stamps of Vatican City. So nestled uh, in, in the city of Rome, right in the uh, heart of the Italian peninsula, lies the world's smallest nation, and that is Vatican City. Vatican City is less than one half the size of the National Mall in Washington, D.C. Uh, if you've ever been to Washington, D.C. or you've seen pictures of the uh, Lincoln Memorial, the uh, Washington Monument, the Smithsonian Institute, uh, all of that makes up uh, the mall, and so Vatican City is less than half of that size. According to the uh, Vatican City website, there are just a uh, little bit over 600 uh, citizens of the state. Uh, of those 600, about 250 actually live uh, within the Vatican City walls. And of those 250, uh, just a little over 100 are members of the Swiss Guard. Uh, Vatican City became politically independent uh, from Italy uh, with the signing of the Lateran Treaty on February the 11th, 1929. Uh, two days after that, uh, the Vatican Post Office uh, began operating. Uh, they first began operating with use of uh, donated uh, stamps and materials uh, from Italy, and they issued its first postage stamps on August 1st, 1929. The Vatican stamps that were issued uh, from 1929 uh, through 1934 were all pictorial portrait definitives. Uh, they all had familiar images on them, such as the Papal Coat of Arms, uh, the Vatican Palace, the Vatican Gardens, uh, St. Peter's Basilica, and uh, portraits of Pope Pius XI. The first uh, 13 stamps, Scott number 1 uh, through 13, uh, that were issued on August 1st, 1929, uh, are all printed on unwatermarked paper. They all have a perforation of 14. Uh, there are two designs used in these 13 stamps. Uh, the first is the Vatican coat of arms, and the second is the image of Pope Pius uh, the 11th. The lower denomination stamps, which feature the Vatican coat of arms, are printed on uh, colored paper, and they have a background consisting of rows of words that say uh, post-Vatican in uh, colorless letters. The other stamps have images of Pope Pius uh, the 11th on them. If you're not familiar with uh, Pope Pius the 11th, uh, he was uh, proclaimed Pope on February 6, 1922. He was the first sovereign of Vatican City uh, from its creation as an independent state. And uh, he is remembered uh, as the Pope that reigned between two devastating uh, world wars of the 20th century. Pope Pius XI died on February 10th, 1939, uh, after reigning just 16 years as Pope. Uh, during his interment, uh, something unexpected happened. They were excavating uh, his tomb uh, in a space um, beneath St. Peter's Basilica, and when they did, uh, they found uh, two ancient burial chambers uh, that were discovered there, and uh, they recovered bones uh, in those chambers that they believe uh, to belong uh, to the Apostle Peter. Uh, if you are ever in uh, Vatican City, uh, the yellow mailboxes of Post of Vatican have become iconic. 
uh, in the landscape of this papal city. And uh, the Vatican has acquired a reputation uh, for producing uh, really beautiful and attractive postal stamps. Um, and they are produced under the authority of the Philatelic and Numismatic Office of the Vatican City State. Uh, much of the mail uh, that the Vatican Post Office handles, uh, you would um, not be surprised to know is from tourists uh, who make uh, the pilgrimage to Vatican City. Uh, and uh, while there, uh, they mail postcards and letters and things uh, back home. Also, a lot of people travel from Rome uh, to Vatican City uh, because they believe that the uh, Vatican postal system is more reliable uh, than the Italian postal system. In fact, the Universal Postal Union uh, says that the Vatican Post Office is one of the best postal systems uh, in the world and uh, that more letters are sent each year per inhabitant uh, from the Vatican 00. Uh, 120 postcard or postcode, excuse me, uh, than from anywhere else in the world. And so, the reason I'm talking to you about Vatican City today is I just received a, uh, a hip stamp order uh, that I placed a while back. And so, I wanted to show you uh, these stamps. And these are the stamps. These are. Uh, all from 1929. Uh, this is Scott number one uh, through seven. And then this is Scott number eight and nine. And uh, I will try to get up close here. So you can see these. Uh, you'll notice Scott number one through seven do have the, uh, the coat of arms for Vatican City. And then Scott number eight and nine have an image of Pope Pius uh, the 11th. Uh, these are all used condition. Uh, some of them had uh, hinge remnants on them. Uh, some of them did not. Uh, but I'm really pleased uh, with these stamps. Really excited to get them uh, in my collection. Um, I'm doing a thing uh, where the countries that I collect mainly the micro countries, Vatican City, uh, San Marino, Andorra, Liechtenstein, Monaco. Uh, I'm trying to get the uh, first hundred stamps uh, issued from those countries, so I'm calling it the first hundred project. And you'll, excuse me, probably hear me talk about that more as time goes on. Uh, so these are the ones uh, that I have, uh, I've got for my first hundred collection for Vatican City. They were not very expensive at all. Uh, I bought them on hip stamp. I think I paid uh, four or five dollars uh, for these stamps right here. And uh, let me look at my invoice. And then I paid uh, I paid a dollar uh, for both of these stamps. And then I think I paid a dollar or two for shipping. Uh, so really economic and uh, well worth the money. And I'm really excited to have have those stamps uh, in my collection. Well, that's it for today's uh, video. I hope you've enjoyed a look at uh, Vatican City and the first stamps that were issued there in 1929. Uh, before we say goodbye today, um, I want to uh, want to say this. I am really behind um, on writing and sending postcards. It has been just an unbelievably uh, busy month or two months uh, with Easter. Uh, there was a lot of things that uh, that we did for Easter, and I've got a lot of things coming up this summer. Uh, so if you haven't received a postcard uh, from me, if, if we regularly swap and I haven't sent you one in a while, uh, my apologies. I hope to be able to do that in the next week or so. Uh, so please be patient with me and forgive me uh, for my tardiness uh, in that area. Uh, big weekend coming up for me. Uh, today is Friday. Uh, the 14th of April as I'm filming this video and hopefully that'll be the day that uh, you're seeing this video uh, so my my birthday is actually Sunday the 16th of April um, and so tomorrow we're having a party uh, my family's coming over and um, I hope to share with you uh, some more about that in a video next week I let you know what, uh, what we've got planned for tomorrow um, I'm really excited about it and uh, so after it happens, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you everything about it. But yeah, uh, so birthday weekend, 
Um, not going to tell you how old I am, uh, but I will be somewhere between 45 and 47. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, going to be the big four, six Sunday. Uh, so just plan on, uh, hanging out with my family and, uh, being at church with my church family. And so it'll be a, it'll be a great day. So thank you for watching. Uh, have a wonderful day. Have a great weekend until I see you next time. Bye-bye.